Y'all recognize that? I hope so. You Zelda fans out there, that's the classic Ocarina of Time, Song of Time. Don't you just hear that and want to go back in time to when we weren't in COVIDiocracy? We weren't totally retarded. You wouldn't even have to go seven years like Link did in one of the best video games of all time. You can just go seven months back and things are at least a little bit closer to normal. Now, we were arguing that it was not normal in January, but comparatively to where we are today with the COVIDiocracy, I mean, it is a stark, stark difference, isn't it? Anyways, I'm your host of today's Cyber Chat, Dave Dave from ZTidic.Newscast, uh, the guy asking all the stupid questions to keep you proceeding by inquiry. Today, I want to give another Theta Network update. This is something that we have covered in the past. If you aren't familiar with the Theta Network, I'd encourage you to go over to our YouTube page, ZTidic News Network, and look up this last uh, segment I did on it. I go over the basics of the network, you know, who's running it, uh, how it is, it, it's supposed to work, um, and the token model, the two token model with the Theta network tokens and the T Fuel uh, operational token. I'm not going to go over that again today. I want to talk more about it as it pertains to the future of ZNN because, as I detailed previously, I do see them uh, intermingling. Because what what are we doing here at ZNN? We're trying to create, yeah, an alternative media network, if you want to call it that. Um, I've uh, wanted to do something sort of activist related for a long time. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you set about doing something like this, like a Veritas project or another Infowars, I mean, the landscape is so different than when Alex Jones uh, decided to, to jump into it. Um, no, what with the shadow banning, the admitted censorship and whatnot. So although we do have a YouTube channel, you know, we've always talked about alternative means of, you know, building our platform so that we can, you know, uh, cover that esoteric sort of information without the, the risk of, um, you know, big tech censorship. Now, um, I don't think that's going to go away, but, you know, we, the people have to finance those solutions which are seeking to disrupt um, uh, these systems of control and surveillance and censorship. Um, and that is admittedly what Theta says they are endeavoring to do with the Theta Network Project. So that's why it's always been a point of interest, uh, subsequently a point of investment uh, for this operation. And I really think that they are laying the foundations for us to um, really distribute our, our content around the world uh, in a way that is going to be, um, you know, not only free from censorship, but something that you can earn T-Fuel watching uh, as well as um, we can earn T-Fuel distributing. Um, and T Fuel is just a digital asset, sort of like Bitcoin. Uh, it's not necessarily easily redeemable in uh, a fiat currency of choice, uh, but it is possible and it does have a value because, as I've covered before, we are one of the first, we are the first uh, original news content creators that are streaming live 24 7 on the Theta network. And this is an important prototype for where we see this going. For instance, this little window right here on the right-hand side of our website, I envision that as being a 24-hour restream of our content, um, maybe even selections of our content on multiple streaming channels in a sort of gallery type configuration that is uh, when you're playing it in the browser, you're actually sharing your bandwidth with peers and potentially earning T-Fuel while engaging with our content. And then I can also envision a menu item here with a store where you can use those T-Fuel to uh, you know, get discounts on products that we're offering or merchandise or something like that. It might not even be called T-Fuel, it might be called you know, Zetitic coin or something. I don't know. But this is what the protocol allows and provides for. It is very early stage, but that's where I see it going. So in our previous discussions about this, I mentioned that, you know, I want to introduce an incentive model for contributors such as Xavier Diamant, 
uh, or orthogonal reptilian or whoever, a Bix Weir or any guest who might come on the show or want to write an article to be paid in tea fuel for their good deeds. Um, and I sort of prototype that by sending uh, tea fuel to our guests and co-host Xavier Diamant uh, in their previous uh, participation. Um, that was just a, a again a prototype of a, a beta, sort of minimally. Uh, um, it's just a concept, okay. Um, in the future, this might be something that can be integrated in the site, and you can see me playing around with ideas here, uh, where I've got a sign up form to become a ZNN contributor where you have a, an actual profile on our site, you share your public wallet address, and you'll gain some sort of governed access to posts. Now, oh yeah, ZNN, we're gonna censor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is a curated platform and um, um, we have a perspective and we wanna put it out there, um, but we're not advertising ourselves as a public commons, just to be clear. This is, uh, you know, it's our network and we, we get to, yeah, there's always bias with every photograph, you know, there's bias because you're deciding to photograph something instead of something else. So there's always that and I'm not going to shy away from that. But what we're trying to do here is give, uh, like the Theta Network itself, an incentive model to, a per, uh, to for folks to participate and for that to be sort of outside of the traditional financial system. So. You can come in here and fill out your information if you want. I, it's not fully live yet, or I haven't got this all fleshed out. I definitely need to put together sort of the, the incentive plan. You know, how are how are posts going to be approved? How much will you get paid for them, uh, and that sort of thing um, before we really start accepting submissions. But uh, this is hopefully an indication of the direction we're trying to take. Not only ZNN, but uh, the Theta protocol. Okay. Okay, uh, moving on to some other updates with the site. Uh, there are a couple new articles. Um, I posted uh, a, a new permanent news channel here, Stankov's Universal Law Press. There's a lot of great information there. Disquisitions about the fraudulent nature of our uh, academic, scientific, and spiritual centers of the world, and also the human ascension uh, which could also be described as a, a mass awakening and a change in the vibration of uh, our present existence. Um, there were some excellent articles written about uh, recently by J the main author there, Georgi Stankov, about what we agree. I mean, I agree. The biggest scientific fraud and political crime of all times. No one died of Cerveza virus and how there is no virus really um, it's a misnomer uh, uh, and you know all of these um, kibitzing uh, government funded public health organizations are perpetrating a much more deadly uh, uh, plague upon upon humanity and and that is the lockdown scenario which is has been unfolding now for what seems like an eternity but uh, only about six months um, and uh, on that note, Xavier Diamant has an excellent article up on that topic, um, suicide rate at all-time highs. Welcome to COVIDiocracy 1984. Technocratic depopulation agenda 21-2030 is in full acceleration, and, and I couldn't agree with that headline uh, anymore. Um, Xavier's got a lot of supplemental videos in here talking about the statistics that you don't see on the mainstream news networks. Uh, that our you know our mortality is affected in in a multi-dimensional way, uh, not necessarily you know monolithically from Cerveza virus. Uh, you, you see the daily reports of cases, hospitalizations, and uh, deaths, but all the fine print you know really conceal the fact that um, this is just a big hoax, a big fraud, uh, and in fact the the lockdowns are much more detrimental to the you know human health, uh, which just says. You know, the authorities don't actually care about saving lives. Uh, no, you know, not one more death from, from COVID. Blah, blah, blah. They don't really care about death. They want to accelerate death and exterminism. So um, check that out. I'm sure I can't wait to talk to Xavier next on one of our upcoming shows uh, about this because it, it's, it's definitely a great piece you should check out. Okay, anyways, back to the 
back to the Theta uh, network update. Um, so I think last time I did an update, they, they had announced their partnership with Google and uh, become a validator node um, or had started a validator node. Um, then it subsequently went pretty silent. Um, there weren't too many major announcements by the Theta team. You know, it's summertime, there's vacation. Um, but uh, it seems like they're getting busy again. And they did announce on the 15th a development roadmap. And, you know, talking about our appreciation of the network and the project pertaining to censored material, they really, it's almost like they wrote a letter to us or something. They say, you know, they are making a few adjustments to their development roadmap, and that includes um, shifting their focus a little bit to improving the usability of the Theta network for content creator and streaming platforms. And um, this means building out their edge node software, which is basically the main product uh, that Theta is, has, has innovated, and that is a client you can download on your PC, um, and in the future, you'll probably have it on your smart TV or your smartphone. And that enables the uh, bandwidth sharing and um, the management and participation in the, you know, the payment pool um, of T-Fuel for uh, lending that bandwidth to your peers. And uh, of course, you get rewarded for engaging with the content that's integrated this protocol. Um, but it's also serving as a, uh, you know, a relay node um, to to peer to peer stream fully decentralized video um, to those who would like to watch it. Now, again, this early stage, uh, it's beta stuff, um, uh, but it seems like they just very much uh, focus on adoption, which you have, you know, with in the crypto space is uh, notoriously um, talked about, but not necessarily delivered on. Um, and they even say that, you know, they're promoting this as uh, a platform where Theta users can't be censored because it's peer to peer. And the, pr the protocol itself doesn't look at the content itself, just like, you know, uh, Akamai and uh, Amazon Web Services. They don't necessarily, um, monitor or take liability for the content that is responsible that is incumbent on the platform owner to manage from a legal perspective um, and so this protocol is open source and it's decentralized and it's peer-to-peer -peer. so that tells me you know lack of censorship and, and an opportunity for a news agency to come in and take advantage of that that new that new platform so you hear guys like Bix Weir uh, talk about this is commoditizing broadband, you know, because video delivery is actually just data delivery. And as soon as they nail that one down, they get that adoption, they can move on to other types of data delivery, not streaming. It could be, you know, depending on the, the decentralized, you know, the, um, the breadth of the decentralization um, could just be video on demand or data, just other data objects. I mean, they're already saying in their roadmap, they want to move on to static data files, such as game patches and so on. Now, Theta's, you know, their use case is, it starts with esports and video games and that sort of thing, but the concept is what's important um, and what's valuable. And the model doesn't prefer esports, it's just that that's where it originated with the Theta development team. Um, but what's cool is that their, their objective is actually to uh, decentralize from Theta. So there's only a billion Theta tokens that can ever exist. Um, and of course, the Theta team owned all of them up front because they invented it. But then they, they, they have released some into circulation. They were sold at a certain point, um, but they weren't ICO'd. It wasn't an initial coin offering. So... From a regulatory standpoint, uh, Theta is in an interesting spot as well, uh, in that they aren't going to come under the same kind of scrutiny that, say, you know, Veritasium came under, or many of the other ICOs uh, uh, have come under subsequently to their to their offering. So, Theta has an interesting strategy. You know, some of the the 
tokens are just freely circulating. They're owned by stakeholders such as Z Titic News Network, and they are, are either in a wallet or they are staked in these guardian nodes. But then there's a higher level of a uh, guardian node called a validator node, which is um, generating T fuel um, as it validates transactions that happen on the blockchain. Now, when you're talking about you know potentially millions of nodes relaying data back and forth, um, you know maybe you watch five minutes of a video segment and you know there's only a peer watching the same segment uh, for three of those minutes and you're sharing bandwidth during that time. Having an accurate you know, calculation of that is really the innovation here. This is the micro resource oriented payment pool and the multi BFT consensus uh, mechanism that, you know, these guardian nodes and validator nodes are, that's the work that they're performing. So to run a guardian node, you have to have 10,000 theta tokens. There's only 1 billion theta tokens available, and the, the, the number of tokens you have determines the proportion of T fuel that you're awarded if you are participating in transaction validation at that time. So the, I think their initial goal was 1,000 guardian nodes would be the, um, the sort of magic number to achieve decentralization and um, I guess um, you know a robust enough service level that they could say they have a native blockchain that's that's running on its own. Uh, since Mainnet 2.0, which was earlier in the year, they've grown from past a thousand to 1,240 Guardian nodes. And if you go over to GuardianMonitor.io, you can see the distribution of them across the world. Um, obviously, the remote areas that's area for improvement in Central America and Africa and Russia and Eurasia, really. But still a very impressive achievement for the Theta team to achieve this level of participation in the validation of their protocol. But also, you know, each one of these could potentially be also a relay node for video streams. And in fact, if you go to um, their website, uh, it's not shown on guardianmonitor.io. But on the thetatoken.org website, you can see uh, the edge casher nodes. So there's even more of those, 1,834, which are you know relaying video that's that's being demanded. So again, a really cool development. Um, seems like the network is strong. Uh, on guardianmonitor.io, you can even monitor the. Um, activity of all the guardian nodes and you can see the validator nodes so going back to the the, the 1 billion theta tokens yes yeah, some of them are still owned by theta labs right but they're going to they're going to grant those or sell them to strategic partners who are going to build out sort of the enterprise layer of the blockchain uh, maintenance let's call it uh, you see google samsung a uh, couple uh, crypto exchanges binance they have their own stakes and they are, you know, they, they uh, have dedicated infrastructure, uh, servers and whatnot to perform the function of a validator node. Um, you can monitor, as I said, the, the uh, Guardian nodes and see how they're doing as well. Here's ZNN. Um, we haven't changed our stake, um, but we have moved down in the rankings a couple nicks because uh, I guess some, some folks had surpassed us. But we've been up almost, I mean, this is 30-day uptime history, almost 100% of the time, and that includes our 24-7 restream, uh, which is currently running Plandemic, the much-censored uh, documentary segment about Dr. Fauci and the NIAD, AID and Bill Gates and... Uh, uh, the the fraud of HIV and uh, the Cervasa virus at the at the end of the day, um, but in the future, you know, when that product goes out of beta and goes live, we're hoping that this node generates enough T fuel to not only fund our contributors' uh, participation in our site, but also in the actual delivery of our content. 
So right now we're earning like $90 a month in T fuel. What happens if that price uh, with dollars, um, you know, triples, um, you know, that's going to be good for the network and it's going to be good for you who are looking for, you know, an, uh, <laughs> you know, a network that's going to ask the hard questions and, and pay you to, 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 to enjoy that content as well. Um, so what has changed since the last update? Well, I want to talk a little bit about Michelle White Dove. Uh, now, I did not discover Theta by uh, paying attention to the uh, America's number one psychic medium. I actually discovered it through Bix Weir, who I've alluded to many times in this uh, discussion, um, who, you know, he talked about Theta um, as one of the cryptos on Cliff High's WebBot reports. I think I saw it on one of Cliff High's WebBot reports. And then I investigated the network myself and came to my own conclusions. I mean, I'm not, this is an investment advice. You know, you don't want to listen to me at all. I don't know anything. I'm, I have no qualifications. Uh, obviously, I take investment advice from psychic mediums. Um, so don't listen to me there. But uh, my point is, uh, I, I didn't discover Michelle White Dove till later. Bix, I heard Bix talking about her prediction of it uh, reaching, you know, thousands of dollars per coin. Um, well, that's exciting, but you know, not not a compelling investment um, decision. Uh, and I don't know if she's America's number one psychic medium. I think it's self-proclaimed. Not knocking her. I mean, I don't really know. I don't follow her. I don't watch TV, so I don't I don't know that. But um, she made an interesting prediction on July 9th. I started following her, and she mentions that there is a blackout of the internet and cellular phones. And she says this is a test, an experiment by the shadow government government they want to know how the population will react now we know the internet kill switch is real is it a lever or is it a red button in obama's office i don't know uh but uh i'm joking of course but it is real um and what's interesting is this was posted july 9th you know and she lets you proceed by inquiry um you know she didn't say you have to believe her it's just her prediction. She's putting it out there. So July 9th. Interestingly, on the 17th, Cloudflare reported um, a major outage. You know, they came back and said it was like a router in Atlanta or something. Excuse me. Um, but what's interesting is they, the, it was reported somewhere that 40% of the internet went down. You know, a bunch of large um, publications and, and other services went down as a result of this Um outage and, and it, it's not to say Cloudflare is the internet kill switch or they're you know endeavoring to that but it does speak to the number one the problem that Theta is trying to solve it's trying to decentralize these services um, put them in everybody's home give people a facility to earn from that providing that service to others um, while making for a more stable um, and higher fidelity internet experience but it really speaks to the level of consolidation, uh, not only of um, infrastructure, but of control. You know, if Cloudflare can have a down, an outage and 40% of the internet goes down, I mean, uh, even if Cloudflare is the most altruistic organization in the world, they could be bought out by, you know, nefar more nefarious interests. So I'll let you be the judge about whether that's happened or not. But um, that was her prediction. It was pretty interesting, right? But she, you know, again, she made predictions about theta and then she made this prediction um and when she made her predictions about theta i mean i think it was trading around four cents five cents eight cents um so let's get into the price um but oh wait before i do uh this is just another sort of corroborating piece of information as again not investment advice but you know if you're if you're into trends and and uh you you know, uh, see a technology for what it's worth before your parents or your grandparents do. Maybe you want to pay attention to this. But I remember a lot of reports coming out, you know, closer to the beginning of the lockdown scenario, pointing out how bandwidth has, has been stretched very thin due to the Cerveza virus pandemic. And YouTube had to put a limit on some regions on its video quality as a way to sort of mitigate that and maintain some level of delivery for all of its customers. So um, another, another, you know, 
a trend, right? Um, do you think we're going to go back to normal soon or are people going to be increasingly confined, confining themselves and spending more time on their digital devices? I mean, I don't necessarily think it's a good thing that people are doing that, but it is something that seems likely to happen. So again, underscoring Theta's, um, you know, disruption and potential solution for, I mean, Cloudflare might actually want to, you know, buy a validator node from Theta to augment their own operations. It's not an either or, it can be an and too, you know, to augment. And, you know, having a validator node, is almost like membership, you know, to, uh, to the network and you get, you know, some nice perks. You get a constant supply of T fuel to, you know, maybe resell that content delivery capacity. Um, so anyways, it's, it's not a zero sum game here. It can be a, an and situation with, with centralized content delivery networks and decentralized content delivery networks. So, um, you know, Theta mentioned, uh, they, want to drive adoption, usability, and uh, they are speaking to the um, possibilities of decentralized, sensorless uh, um, video delivery mechanisms. And they tweeted out, looks like a community-driven website for users to find active edge node streams. So here they are, you know, promoting and encouraging the um, decentralized nature of what they're doing here. And this is very encouraging. I wonder if this came from the, the um, hackathon, which is ongoing. I think it ends actually in August. So we'll see what products come out of that. Again, I'm hoping for some WordPress plugins or something to make our streams more usable. Can totally see that happening uh, with a full, you know, Theta network integration where we can, you know, reward our users for engaging with our content. Um, Zetidic News Network, already on ThetaList.tv, the first original news content provider. You can watch Plandemic now, and you can even send tips to us with Ethereum. So cool developments, right? Um, the other big news, which really ha I think has been driving the price action in the last seven days or so, uh, Coinbase continues to explore support for new digital assets. And in their list... Now they do this periodically. They announce uh, digital assets that are circulating, which they are evaluating as prospective assets um, against their digital asset framework to assess factors like security compliance and the project's alignment with our mission of creating an open financial system for the world. And it looks like Theta has applied and they are under consideration. And so we saw a huge spike in the price. This is a, here's a seven day chart for the Theta token in dollar terms. And uh, I think that Coinbase report hit on the 31st. Look at that, jump, 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 climb, wow. Now I'm not a technical trader. Again, I'm an idiot, I'm not investment advice. But just look at the price action. Um, I mean, we hit an all time high right around mainnet 2.0 when everybody was selling the rumors and um, I think we hit 43, 43 cents was the high. Um, yeah. And then there was a huge sell off. And of course we are in manipulated markets, make no mistake about it. Um, but what is Theta valued at? I mean, look at the value of the content delivery industry. Um, and it's billions and billions of dollars. There's only 1 billion Theta tokens that will ever exist. Uh, okay. So, um, to me, this pattern right here from the all-time high to the sell-off to the current recent price action looks very bullish to me, um, especially given that Theta team is um, hitting their milestones, their development milestones, and they are marketing their selves so well. Obviously, the recent jump has everything to do with the um, just the hint that all the money pent up in the U.S. market is able to find a legal and a, and a easily accessible home for, um, for storage um, in Theta assets, digital assets. Um, Coinbase is uh, an American company 
they are probably the most user friendly uh, and they they support a wide variety of digital assets but um, you know it's pretty difficult if you're a US citizen to to acquire theta um, it requires a certain level of, of um, understanding of the various exchanges um, trading cryptocurrency you have to sort of learn the basics of cryptocurrency to be able to transact but coinbase will make it easy for the um, you know the fiat um, depositor the the person who's only ever had a credit card and a in a checking account to link up their their bank account and start spending their dollars on things like theta now there's a lot of people who are going to just go on a coinbase and buy them to trade them and they're not even going to stake them they're not going to run a guardian node necessarily they may not even care about doing that they'll just be you know reading the financial news as theta continues its uptrend in the dollar price and that's probably going to happen regardless of theta's uh delivery on their roadmap uh, just because of the uh, inflationary uh, activity of the Federal Reserve and the <laughs> the imminent collapse of our financial system itself. Um, so a revaluation of all assets is definitely in the cards for probably the next 12 to 24 months. That, that, that reset's definitely going to happen. Um, in the interim, you know, you're going to see all sorts of crazy price, price fluctuations. Frankly, if Theta can, you know, drops and goes down, I'll probably buy more because then I'll have a higher percentage stake for ztidic.news to to put in their our guardian node and earn T fuel for our own operations. Um, but Coinbase, I think they're serious about this. They're gonna they're gonna list it, and when they do, it's it's gonna be um, you know these prices are gonna look cheap by comparison. So um, take note of that. Just understand if you are. Uh, Johnny come lately to the Theta party and you wait until Coinbase um, opens trading on on the Theta platform you know um, they are a you know IRS compliant uh, exchange and if you're concerned about having a conversation with the IRS and uh, any sort of implied taxable events just keep in mind um, anything over $25,000 you spend or receive on Coinbase will be reported to the IRS. So, um, you know, choose your exchanges wisely. Uh, it is exciting, though, because Americans will get, gain exposure to this important digital asset and technology. Um, really, for many, many, it will be for the very first time despite the fact that we've already had hundreds of percentage points gain in price appreciation if, if you've been trading um, you know more than I don't know two years you're definitely sitting well despite uh, this price action and still at 30 cents 32 cents if I had the disposable money right now I'd probably buy more um, because uh, what you get in potential and capacity with the theta token and the T fuel sub token is uh, much more valuable than that. Um, so, yeah, very excited about the, the 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 developments here. As I've mentioned, we are um, continuing to move in the direction of integrating theta, and probably eventually we'll have our own decentralized list uh, and channels. Uh, available here on the ZTIDIC News website. Hey, it's been a pleasure giving you this CyberChat Theta Network update. I've uh, greatly enjoyed it. My name's Dave Dave. Check, check you later at ZTIDIC.news. Don't forget to subscribe, watch our videos, share our videos, and maybe in the future you can register to become a contributor so you can get your hands on some of that T-Fuel. Peace, y'all.